Hello ladies and gentlemen today we are going to tell you about the United States National Toy Hall of Fame has added what may be the oldest toy in the world to its collection after it secured a winning vote from a panel of experts housed at the Strong Museum in Rochester New York the National Toy Hall of Fame was established in 1998 and is now home to be the likes of the Nintendo Game Boy playing cards Lego and Twister there are new toys inducted into the Hall of Fame every year as it continues to recognize toys which have inspired creative play and enjoyed popularity over a sustained period and as a result it is packed full of beloved family favorites and timeless sources of enjoyment this year saw three new toys welcomed into the Hall of Fame with the winners chosen from a group of 12 finalists after managing to win over a panel of experts the toys that didn't make the cut included a number of strong contenders with a group made up of Battleship, the settlers of Captain Mahjong, Billiards, Cabbage Patch Kids, Masters of the Universe, Fisher Price Con, Popper, the Toy Fire Engine, and the Pinata. Fans of these games might struggle to imagine what could be good enough to beat some of these classics, but one of the winners has the upper hand of being familiar to every single generation, as it's been around probably as long as the Earth has. Alongside fellow winners, American Girl dolls, and the strategy board game Risk, one of the new toys to be inducted. into the hall of fame is sand that's right sand now you might argue that sand in itself is not a toy as it requires some sort of instrument such as a bucket or spade to make it into something you can actually play with and personally i would have to agree the panelist evidently didn't let that stop them though as the website for the hall of fame says children recognize sand as a creative vehicle for play suitable for pouring scooping sieving raking and measuring wet sand is even better it argues ready to construct shape and sculpt the grainy substance was hailed as providing unique opportunities for tactical physical cooperative creative and independent free play as well as being described as possibly the most universal toy in the world so whether you consider sand a toy or not it's clearly done enough to earn its place among some of the best loved games out there way to go sand so if you are looking forward to more interesting news don't Don't forget to subscribe and comment.